Hey guys, welcome to my prediction list for Electronic Arts 2015 E3 conference. Now, the last one that I did, sorry, I'm eating, but the last thing I, uh, the last conference I, uh, prediction I did focused more on hardware, software, on top of games. This time, of course, it's just EA, so it's going to be easier for me to just talk about games. And plus, the list isn't going to be all that big since it's just EA. Now, I'm going to be focusing on key games that are going to be at the conference that they'll be talking about. Of course, they have many games. Like, they're going to be talking about a lot of games. But these are going to be a few of the key games that you'll see at E3. Uh, and the first is, non-surprisingly, Star Wars Battlefront. I think that, you know, this is going to be the key game this year. Um, or at least one of the two key games this year. Uh... We're going to see more gameplay, we're going to see our first space battle, uh, you know, we're going to see a lot more combat, and they're just going to be able to talk about it, because of course, at the celebration, they were just talking about the creation of it, um, and they did to speak about more information about the game itself, but I think e um, E3, they're going to talk way more about um, just a lot more gameplay elements. And they're going to show a lot more gameplay elements, and we're just going to see a lot more people being hands-on with the with the um, with the game itself. Uh, so, yeah, I think that we're, that Star Wars Battlefront is going to be front and center at EA, at EA, and they definitely have a reason to because this is one. This is going to be the mo probably the most hyped game of the entire year. Um, let's follow that up with the next biggest game, which will be a new Need for Speed. Now, Need for Speed, for the first time in a long time, didn't get a game in 2000, in the year previous. So we didn't see a Need for Speed game, of course, last year, um, which was pretty sad. We could have a normal uh, hot pursuit racing game. We could have an open world game. We could have a street racing game. You know, there's tons of ways they can go with Need for Speed. And so I think this game is going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be a lot better uh, than the last game that they put out. And I think that we're just going to see a real, a really good evolution um, happening in this next Need for Speed game. Also, EA is going to announce that, that they confirmed a new sequel in the works for the film, for the film series. So uh, I'm hyped for that as well. Need for Speed, the movie was a great film. Uh, it's, it was a really good title. I think that a sequel would be just as good. Hopefully, it is just as good. Like I said, they just announced a couple weeks ago that they are working on a sequel. Uh, so, Need for Speed. We're going to talk about a movie, and of course, we're going to see this evolution of the franchise that we know so well, that we love so well. Because Need for Speed is just. It's, I love that series. I love racing, and I can't wait to see what they do with the next, or what the new developer is going to do with this installment. Now, when you're talking about EA, of course, you can't ignore EA Sports. EA Sports. We're not going to spend too much time here, but the same old yearly NHL, Madden, NBA Live, and FIFA stuff, blah, 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 sports, blah, 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 new mechanics, blah, 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 stuff, next. Now, so these are the last two things that I'm going to be talking about here, and it was a very short list, because last time when I talked about PlayStation, it took me a long time uh, to fully predict everything that I think is going to be there, but... The last two, I think we're going to get a tease of Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2, uh, we're going to get a tease, like I said, just now, like I just said, a tease. Uh, I think that's just going to be a video tease. Um, so, Titanfall and Battlefield Hardline is going to probably get a, some new DLC announced as well. Uh, that's my thoughts on overall EA conference stuff. So we're going to see a lot more Star Wars Battlefront. We're going to see some uh, evolutionary stuff when it comes to Need for Speed. Because we missed out last year, this better be a good game, and I think it's going to be a great game. We're going to talk about the film at Need for Speed. Um, the same old EA Sports jibber-jabber. And then we might see a tease of Titanfall 2, and we might see a tease of Battlefield. So, uh, no, not a tease, um, some DLC for Battlefield. So, that's my prediction for EA's 2015 predictions. It's a light prediction lineup, uh, but this is what I think is going to be there. So tell me what you guys think is going to be on the list of games. Uh, I'm Brian Salon, of course. Uh, watch some more videos. Uh, I've got, like I said before, a PlayStation E3 2015 press conference announcement prediction list. That's a, That was a lot. Now, uh, I'm going to, you know, 
work on some more videos for you guys. I'm going to work on some more articles. If you guys want to read, check the description for uh, some stuff that I write. And I talk about more than just gaming. I talk about tech. I talk about cars, automobile stuff. Um, I'm Brian Swan. Thanks for listening, and uh, stay tuned for more.